Hey everyone, this is Reverend Dr. Katie, and I am here live with you on Wednesday, let's see, February 7th, 2018. It's really good to see everyone. So I am going to be talking today about angel numbers, because lots of you have been asking about these. These are really, really popular out there in the world right now. So you see a lot about angel numbers on in different groups and on different parts of the internet. So let's clear up some of the confusion and then talk about how these might be helpful to you in your own daily walk, in your own Christian life. So let's get a few facts in order first. So what are angel numbers? So angel numbers are just numbers that you see in your everyday life repeated over and over and over. So if you see sevens in lots of different combinations, either by itself or in a seven seven or three three sevens in a row, then you might start to pay attention to that because that might be a helpful kind of indicator for you. We'll talk about what those numbers mean in just a moment. Now this really does have to be a little bit random and happenstance, like license plates in front of you, receipts, cash registers, maybe numbers flashing across your TV screen or something like that. Um, if you're constantly seeking out the same numbers over and over and over again in the same spot, eh, maybe that's not quite as effective. So really what we're looking for here are repeated patterns of numbers that appear at not monumental, but at significant moments to help remind us of something or another in our lives. So a lot of you have been asking, does this have a biblical basis? No, it doesn't. These angel numbers, as far as I can tell, are derived from the past few decades, actually, by people's experience. So Doreen Virtue is sort of the big name in this. This is a useful starting place. What I find is that sometimes people will look up the meaning of some number that they've seen over and over, and they take that as authentic gold, but that's not the way these numbers work. These numbers actually need to be tailored and personalized to you and to your experiences. So you need to actually learn what resonates with you the most, and that's something that I can teach you. So if you have some doubts about that, then do contact me one-on-one. -on -one. You can private message me. I'll give you my email at the end of this video as well. So although angels numbers themselves are not really rooted in antiquity. There is the art of practicing numerology and playing with numbers as sacred that extends far back into antiquity, especially Judaism and Christianity through like the Middle Ages, maybe some a little bit after that. And the past few centuries, it's simply fallen out of vogue. So people have not been using numbers as part of their sacred journey anymore. So this is an option that's open to you. Again, this is not demanded of any Christian. It's simply another tool that we can put in our tool belt. So I will tell you when I am paying attention, I will see series of numbers over and over again. They serve as a little check for me. How are my thoughts? You know, am, am I on the right path at this little moment in time? Uh, they can be really helpful. Numbers should always point to God, though, not the other way around. If we get too obsessed by numbers and we're not walking our walk and, and doing justice and kindness, then there's kind of really no point. So keep those things in balance. It's easy to, to get obsessed with this. Have fun. I don't want you not to have fun. Have fun with it. Uh, but kind of keep this in check with other stuff going on in your spiritual life. Again, I'm here if you have questions. Okay, so what you're looking for are numbers that repeat. You're gonna see numbers all day, every day, because you're alive. You're going to see numbers over and over. What you're looking for are numbers that repeat in a short period of time and seem meaningful to you. So today we're gonna focus on three of those numbers. So we're gonna focus on one, two, and three. The numbers go from zero to nine, and then they start repeating, right? So if we get to the number 12, that's a one and a two, and you can kind of put the meanings together. And that gets a little more complex, so we're gonna stick with the basics for right now. So let's see, talk, excuse me, let's talk about number one. When we see a lot of ones, that can be, for many people, a reminder to watch our thoughts, because our thoughts help set the intentions for the universe. Whatever we put out there, we will receive back. So for instance, if you are needing a new car and you're thinking, I will never be able to afford a new car, guess what? You will never be able to afford a new car. And then if you see a bunch of ones appearing at you as you're thinking these thoughts, that's the reminder to change that particular thought, right? To transform that into something, for instance, like, I will receive a new car when the time is right. So that'd be a very sort of like baby step into into changing those thoughts so that they are positive and making sure that you are in alignment with God's will. So number two, number two is the reminder that you've changed your thoughts, you are thinking positively and to keep up the good work. 
Now, again, these need to be tailored to you and your specifics to your life. If that doesn't feel like that's the message that you're getting, feel free to tailor these. Like I said, this, these have been honed in the past few decades. There's no reason why one template has to fit all. But generally, this is what most people find these numbers seem to signify. Number three in the kind of out there in the world seems to signify that ascended masters are nearby, but as Christians, we do have people that we look up to out in other religions that are not Jesus, but Jesus for me is not an ascended master. Jesus is my savior. And so when I see lots of threes, it's a reminder to me that Jesus' presence is nearby and that I learn from many other examples of other important people, such as the saints in the Christian tradition, such as the forebears, the prophets in the Hebrew scriptures, and other wise figures from other religions like Buddha. And so those are reminders, but of course, Jesus is always at our forefront. So that's just a quick guide. We're just covering numbers one through three today. We'll cover, cover other numbers later on. Uh, text me um, through Facebook Messenger. You can email me at katie, K-A-T-Y, at katievalentine.com. You can private message me. Anyway, I would love to hear from you with more questions, more insights. And when you are ready to dig deeper, let me know. That's what I'm here for. Great to see all of you, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.